Hey guys, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to perform a longer EQ mix. So in the last lesson, we just did a very basic EQ mix with just the bass. It is basic, but very useful across all genres. Uh, however, this one is for a much longer mix. And so you have more time to work with. You want to have more time to work with it when you're using this EQ mix. And we are going to be transitioning the mids and the bass. Now, once you learn how to do this, you will see that you can also do the very same thing by also transitioning the highs. And it'll open up a new world to you where you can see some more options. But for this one, we're going to be doing a full mid transition and then bass transition. So we have our EQ here. I'm actually going to be playing this song first, which is the Shaolin song. And then over here, we have Raka on this side. So same two songs, just swapping them. So this one's playing first. So this e EQ is gonna be all the way up. This volume is gonna be all the way up. And I'm going to start this fading in this one with the mids and the bass all the way down. I'm gonna leave the highs in, or you could even slightly go like that. So we'll do like a slight little high mix, uh, but we're not gonna change this uh, mix. We're not gonna transition this. We're just gonna transition these two. Now I'm going to start fading it in. Once I get it all the way up, then I'm going to start fading in these highs a little more. Then I'm going to take this mid and get it smoothly to nine o'clock and then do the transition just like that. Same as the bass, like we did in the last lesson. And once it gets to nine, you can fade this one all the way down and then the bass. So then we're back to what we did in the last lesson when we get that to nine o'clock and then we transition just like that and get that down. And then depending on how much time we have left in the song, we can either just let it play out or we can fade it down. All right, now, before we even start this, Tractor has a really cool feature where you can change the EQ on the controller. So if we go over here to the software, remember in the Tractor Pro 2 course, I taught you all the different EQ types. So in the last video, we were using the classic EQ. So with the classic EQ, we press play and we get them all down to zero. I can still hear it in the headphones. I have it all the way to master in my queue and I can still hear it a little bit because it's not complete kill to zero. So it's a decent EQ. However, you're not cutting everything out in that frequency when it's all the way down. Now, there are different EQ types, like I said, and we discussed this in the Tractor Pro 2 course. So I'm not gonna take you through all of them, but what I want you to practice with is the Z ISO EQ. This is the best EQ that Tractor has, in my opinion, mainly because it's complete kill. So when we press play, so let's get it back to the beginning. If I cut it, it completely cuts them out. So we aren't hearing anything and there's nothing left over in the mix. Uh, so we're fully uh, cutting out this high frequency when we turn it down and mids and bass. So for this, go into your settings if you haven't already, choose the Z ISO EQ, Z I S O, and then close your settings and then you'll be set up for this. So I'm going to start this track. This one's queuing here and I'm just gonna skip through to where this cue point is over here. So let's give it a little time ahead of time just to prepare. I'm going to start it like this. And actually when you're beat matching and stuff, you can leave the EQ up, especially with the uh, Z ISO EQ, you wanna leave it up so you can hear something <laughs> while you're beat matching. Uh, but then once you've got it beat matched, then you can take it down and then get ready to bring it in. Or you could drop it with it all the way down with the EQ up. And actually th that's what I'll do right now. And then I'll turn it down and then get ready to fade it up. Okay, and also, you know, like the previous uh, mixes that we've been doing, the crossfader stays in the center. Okay, so got this one ready. Queuing up this one, that's at the first cue point. So I got this playing, I'm gonna get this ready. And get ready to drop it in at that cue point. So I can either manually do it or I can hit sync. Okay, so now it's ready to go. We 
gonna pull this just to there and start fading this up. Okay, now, bringing the highs up. Now to the mids. Okay, I'm gonna start getting that bass up there. So there you go. Now, this one's still playing. I can still hear it because the highs, I could either fade this out or I could just fade it here. And now it's done. So you could even get more technical with that. I don't know if you heard uh, this one dropped out and you can still hear a little bit going on in this one. You could cut it right then. Uh, so you don't even have to do a longer fade after that. You could have just cut it at that point. Uh, but you have options. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's uh, the longer EQ mix. Like I said, you could even take it even longer and go like from complete zero uh, with nothing. However, when you are beat matching, you want to get give yourself a little bit to go on and then bring it up. And you know, you could essentially transfer the highs all the way and then the mids and then the bass and so forth. So that should get your mind going and your creative juices moving so that you can come up with some ideas with the EQ and I encourage you to experiment with the EQ. Also, I wanna note that we've been using house music for most of these lessons, a lot of these lessons because house music is the easiest to learn to beat match with. Uh, however, all these techniques, like I said, can translate over to hip hop and broken beat um, so if you like, and even these longer EQ mixes. So a lot of hip hop mixes, they do short mixes, a lot of cut and paste. Uh, you're doing a lot of that bass switch and that's pretty much it. Um, however, uh, you can take your electronic dance music sensibilities and take them over to hip hop and apply some of these longer EQ mi mixes to hip hop, which will, you know, broaden your horizon in terms of your skill set and what you can do with it and vice versa you can do cut and paste mixes with electronic dance music and that's what I do because I mix multiple genres of music so I think that if you learn all the techniques and then apply them as you see fit it'll make you a much better DJ so if you want to learn more check out the next video